it's Amy. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos and things about um, the Millennial Development Goals and um, post-2015 and what's going to happen. And I think it's a very interesting conversation. Um, I think our current goals, um, they, I think that they've provided um, kind of a stepping stool, kind of a learning, um, not a practice, but almost a practice to learn about um, how to do this. Um, and they have done a lot um, of good work uh, in reducing um, poverty and hunger and everything. And um, they've really um, helped out a lot just in general. Um, but now we can do better. I think that's what the big, um, the, the next step is doing better. And um, we've learned a lot um, from, two th from 2000 to now. And so now we just have to take that and then go a step further um, so that we can go from now to 2030. So some things I've learned is that, um, that it's pretty political, um, and, and it's, it's another discussion to talk about how political we want it to be, um, in, but it's, it's interesting because it's all government getting in, involved in stuff. Um, and so politics can take us anywhere. And so I don't, I don't, I just don't really know about it. Um, and then another thing is that, um, we have to now decide on, on these new goals. And, um, there have been oh, thousands of, um, suggestions coming in and what um, needs to be what needs to be the new goals um, and everybody has their own they have their own thoughts about what to do and um, and how and what direction we should go some people think that we should go in a in a more green direction about su environmental sustainability and and getting our pollutants down and everything and um, other people think that we should go in a more um, human development route which I think I kind of agree with um, and going from you know maternal health and then all the way throughout a child's life making sure that they're cared for that there's education um, to carry on a good long life <clears throat> um, but there's just a ton of different ways and um, I think in general people want the, the goals to um, kind of uh, fit together into one and not just like a hodgepodge of things I guess um, and and so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out and what's going to go on um, with these. Um, I, I know that it's going to, um, they're going to keep some of the same goals and just like hunger. That, that's always going to be um, a goal. And that's another thing that I've thought a lot about is that with these goals, I don't think we'll ever get an absolute like no more hunger. Um, I I don't think that there's ever going to be, you know, like no more malaria. I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't think there's there's really ever going to be, like there's always going to be a need for goals and things, and there's always going to need. Uh, be a need for um, people to help out with hunger and, and everything and and so it just kind of got me thinking about um, 
like the perfect world and how we're kind of trying to um, create uh, a perfect world, I guess. Um, and if that's even possible to do. Um, and so I don't know, I just kept thinking about different um, LDS beliefs and things um, and thinking about, you know, the perfect world and stuff and that's just a whole other tangent but um, um, overall I think the um, old goals will always still be goals I guess I guess you could say um, I don't know how to describe it but um, I think one thing that I uh, was watching was um, they mentioned how um, there's kind of one main um, one main thing that everybody can kind of um, gather to and support, um, and that is children. Everyone will. Um, that's one thing that everybody will want to help out and um, and that we could center things off of. So um, it's a possibility that we could center everything around children, um, making sure that they just in like the development um, route, I guess you could say, is children. And I thought that was really interesting because it's true. Um, if you talk to anybody, you could not deny a, ch a child something big. Everyone wants to make sure that their children are cared for. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think that um, in general there's just there's a lot of different things that could be said about our current goals and the future goals. And I'm excited for the future goals to see what kind of path that will be taken. Um, and um, what will happen to the current goals and how they'll be weaved into the new goals. Because um, there's always going to be um, a need for those things. Um, and so just learning from what happened um, these um, 2000 to 2015 goals um, and how to actually come together as a world um, is going to definitely help for 2015 to 2030. And I think we'll be able to get a lot more done because we know how to do it and we can um, look back at what happened and the struggles that we've had and the positive outcomes to help us um, do even better and just learn from our mistakes and, um, and get everybody involved. Um, I think that's another big important thing is getting everybody involved no matter what and educating everyone will definitely be a lot more helpful because <clears throat> I didn't know anything about um, these goals until this class um, until 2015 and I was kind of sad about that um, but I'd always heard of you know everybody trying to help everyone eradicate hunger and, and poverty but I've never um, heard that there were specific goals um, on these things and so I think that if schools all around the world were to just educate even just a little bit, um, then we would be able to get a lot farther than we had before. Um, um, because it just makes me want to do something and to contribute my ideas and come together with other people to help in
some way, even if it's a minute little thing. I think um, I think that would be probably a big a big thing that will come from the new goals is to is to we we now know that educating people on them is is simple, but it can make a big difference in that um, in that they'll be able to everybody will be able to gather together and and help and I think even um, schools and, and classes and stuff and elementary schools and whatnot would be a really cool and great help um, in all sorts of these things and um, and so that's I think a big thing that uh, we've all learned about these goals and that together with um, all the other things that the world has learned is going to make a, a big difference in fixing and helping and I feel like I just am not making sense but um, <laughs> um, another thing that I remembered was talked about a lot was um, was accountability um, a lot of times people countries would um, would promise help and aid um, but half the time they wouldn't get there and then the other half they would be late and so it wasn't very helpful so I think learning and figuring out how to keep people accountable is a big um, issue and uh, and way to act to again um, make a bigger difference um, so accountability education all those things um, together I think will um, lend a a bigger hand to the future goals and what will happen um, and I think I think that's it um, so yeah it's pretty interesting stuff good conversation